King's Road one day and there was a little girl with her mother on the other side of the road and the little girl was in a sort of push thing and she must have been all of four years old um, and uh, my character in it was called Romana and I suddenly heard this, raw you know the way children can have this sort of raucous voice, this raucous voice from across the King's Road which is quite a wide road saying, hello banana! <laughs> <laughs> and I loved this little girl, it was so great, you know. And, and it was nice because you had very nice people mm. wanting to talk to you. The reason it was so good under Tom, I thought, was that he was absolutely passionate about getting it right. He was a perfectionist and he did wonderful things with children. He used to, I, I was there once when he went up to a, a, a couple of small children, came into the studio, and one of them was about to ask him for his autograph. And he went up to this child and he said, I've seen you watching television. And this child went, mm! and he said, you were hiding behind the sofa, weren't you? And they went, and he'd say, can I have your autograph? You know, he was absolutely oh, wonderful sweet. with children and they adored him. And he was this larger than life, uh, sort of superhuman, mm. but in a, in a very human kind of way. Mm. And I think his sense of humor, I think that he and Douglas got on fantastically well. And I think as a team, the three of us, and John Leeson, who plays K-9, mm. were very much the core of what that era of Doctor Who was like. Big Finish came along, which we have all on Doctor Who found a sort of wonderful place in which we can go on being our Doctor Who characters, but also working with people on the series. Who uh, Louise and I have done a whole series, Jameson and I have done a whole series together for called Gallifrey for, for Big Finish. We'd never even met before, and suddenly there are these two characters, still in character. Romana ends up becoming the president of Gallifrey. You know, we, we were allowed to yeah. change our characters and develop in a way that has been fabulous. I love Big Finish. I love working on those audio things. I suppose part of the thing of being an actor is you believe where you are, don't you? I mean, you have to believe or you're not going to convince anyone else. Mm. And if you're being interrogated, as I was in Destiny of the Daleks, by these really quite scary things, you, just like any audience, believe that they're really scary and that they can kill you. Yeah. And they are the most iconic science fiction creature. Ever? Ever. You can have R2-D2, you can have Cybermen and all of them, but the Daleks, for all their bits of sort of plumbing plungers and, and egg whisks and things and mm. bobbles, they, they are wonderful things. And, and actually, it's, I would have been desperately sad to have been in Doctor Who and never oh, done a story sure. with the Daleks. I'm I loved sure. working with them.